What is up, guys? We are back today for another live in the Pokabilities tier for Metagame of the Month. Uh, as you can tell, I do not have face cam on today. That's because I've been getting a lot of complaints uh, about my audio and my actual face cam being desynced. And I've noticed it myself as well while rendering uh, or while editing the, the video. And it's it's kind of pissing me off as well. Uh, excuse my language, but it, it's, it's annoying the hell out of me. So... Um, I don't really want to use face cam until I figure out what the issue is. Uh, but anyway, uh, getting back to the more important thing. We are back for another live today in this tier. And um, I've got a pretty cool team. It's called Very Normal because we have three normal types on here. Originally, this Drampa at the end was an Azumarill. But I felt like Drampa fit the team a little bit better. Uh, because as you guys know, everything gets all of its abilities. Now, Buzzwool and uh, Tapu Lele, uh, even Titar, I would say, don't really care about being given all their abilities because Tapu Lele only has one useful one anyway. Buzzwool only has one. And once again, Titar only has one useful one. A nerve can be used, but nobody's running berries here anyway. The important ones are Porygon Z and Stoutland. Now, Stoutland is heavily out-tiered. Uh, I would say it's still very, very good, but it's very heavily out-tiered by Excadrill in this tier. But... Uh, in this metagame rather, but I didn't want to use Excadrill in, in another live like two in a row that didn't make any sense So I decided to mix it up a little bit give myself a Tyranitar plus a uh, Stoutland Tyranitar is a good switch into psychic types like Tapu Lele if they're choiced uh, Buzzwool is my dedicated switch into Excadrill. Uh, I can take it to very well and it can fire back pretty hard uh, with uh, sub focus punch and uh, I should probably actually change um, It's spread to not be max attack, but rather max defense. Because if I want this thing to take iron heads as well, I'm going to need that. Uh, I need it. I need his, their iron heads not to break my sub, essentially. Um, or not do a lot of damage to my sub. Maybe I'll do this. Uh, this should be okay. Something like this, this. Yeah, that should be fine. I have the 16 speed on here because there's uh, certain Pokemon that I want to outspeed. Um, mainly, like, uninvested base 80s. Uh, like Gudra, for example, and stuff like that. So that's what that, why that's like that. Toxic is really cool. It's great utility. Uh, things that think they can switch in on Buzz will end up getting toxic, like Lando and stuff like that. Uh, and then this Drampa set is really cool because it's almost max Fizz Dev. It has enough. Um, it has enough defense to take two um, earthquakes from a an Excadrill uh, that's not Life Orb but Adamant. And the reason why is because this thing gets Cloud 9, and it basically cancels out the effects of weather, including the abilities that they boost, uh, like Sand Force from Mexico Drill. Sap Sipper is also really cool. I can switch it into Grass-type attacks. It's kind of like a Zoom Roll. I wanted something similar. Uh, and then this thing is the biggest threat, I think. Uh, it's Normalium Z, Porygon Z. Uh, after a Z conversion, you turn into a Psychic type. You can hit anything with Psy Shock. It's ridiculous. Ice Beam is for like Hippo and, and again Excadrill and stuff like that. Things that resist Psy Shock. And Signal Beam is so that I can hit Dark types, uh, which I otherwise wouldn't be able to. So, uh, but this thing is still a pretty big threat, even more so in Psychic terrain because it can't get hit by priority uh, before it gets the Z conversion off. Like let's say from a Zoomerill, and then it can just fire off a Psy Shock and then just kill something. So, uh, I kind of like Thunderbolt on here as well. I haven't been seeing a lot of Dark types, so I'm actually going to swap this up for. Thunderbolt. I think it's just a little bit better and we'll keep the team that way. We'll see how it does get a couple of games I just want to see how many people are actually playing this right now uh, There's only 10 battles going on so like the last episode I think I'm just going to pause between battles and we will be right back guys All right, and we got one and my opponent has a uh, Chinchino is actually a pretty big threat uh, I think we covered that last episode with technician and uh, skill link. It's actually very very scary to deal with uh, Now what I'm actually gonna do is lead off with my Titar uh, because it doesn't have a bad lead matchup against anything on his team and I cancel out his weather immediately with my weather. So that's awesome. He can't get up a Roar Veil or anything like that, meaning that I'm going to get up my Stealth Rocks. And there's nothing he can really do about it. Uh, he does have three forms of weather on his team, actually. Uh, Pelipper being another one of them, and then Gigalith being the last one. But I don't think he has anything that can really take advantage of uh, rain, from what I can see, actually. Now, I don't really want to stay in on this. I think I have a pretty good switch in in Drampa. It's got pretty good HP. Great Spadef. So we'll go into that. He's probably going to go for a water move. Uh, we're going to get the, uh, rid of the effects of his weather, so his Scald is not going to get boosted by the rain. And uh, we are just going to go for a Calm Mind right here. And uh, none of his weather does anything. So, yeah. <laughs> there is that. Um, I'm not too concerned with anything that he goes into. Gigalith can't wall me forever. Uh, because I do get Berserk, and I get my special attack raised every time he attacks me, and every time... Um, 
every time I get under 50%, and that's why I have this specific spread is so that Excadrill can knock me just under 50, and that I could roost it all back up until his weather is gone. Uh, so he's actually going to go on to Nine Tails here. Uh, now I can take this thing's hit, hit relatively well. I'm going to go for a Flamethrower actually as he goes for an Aurora Veil, and that's going to do a lot of damage to him. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a Roost on what I'm expecting to be a Blizzard, uh, as that is what comes out. Uh, and we do get the boost from that. Now the problem is I can't sit in here forever and go for Roost because that Blizzard is actually doing a little bit more than I wanted it to. It does 60%. So I'm going to go out into Titar. Uh, after this Ninetales takes one round of sand damage, uh, it's essentially uh, dead because it can't come back in on rocks. So we will just go for the Stone Edge right here. Uh, there's nothing he can really th th switch in other than Golurk that would immediately scare me. Because I, sh I am also Shookaberry by the way. Uh, so that deals with uh, Gigalith, with Golurk uh, in this matchup. He's going to go into Gigalith right away. Uh, that is not going to take a whole lot. Then again, I also have a Buzzwool right here, which can take anything one of this thing's hits and then just set up a sub, uh, essentially. As you can see, Earthquake does absolutely nothing uh, because of this thing's great defense. And we are going to go for a sub right here. Uh, we should be faster than Gigalith, of course. And with our rocks up, that means t uh, Ninetales cannot come in. He's actually going to go into his Golurk. Smart play, because I actually can't touch this thing outside of Toxic. Uh, he'll find that out very soon. But uh, he has no Guard, Iron Fist, and Klutz. So he doesn't even have Sand Force. So for some reason, I thought his Golurk had Sand Force. Uh, but he's going to go for Shadow Punch. It's not even going to break our sub, believe it or not. And uh, I'm just going to go for a another Toxic in case he wants to switch out. Uh, and also because I can't hit this thing. I'm just going to basically Toxic stall it. Uh, he's going to go for another Shadow Punch. That's absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to go for another Substitute right here. And eventually I'll switch out into my Drampa, and I'll start getting uh, my health back, so that should be fine. Uh, he might have Dynamic Punch, because he's no guard. He's just going to go for another Shadow Punch, that's fine. Uh, I'm letting this thing die in front of me, and uh, I'm going to go for another Toxic right here, as he is going to go for another Shadow Punch. I don't know if he's locked in, like if he's choiced in some way, but I'm going to go out into Drampa here. And uh, Oh, by the way, Stoutland has Scrappy, so it can hit Ghosts if it wants to. Um, I don't know if this thing's about to hit me with a dynamic punch. I'm kind of scared. Uh, either way, I think I'm going to go for Calm Mind because I think he's choice. Okay, no, he's not choice. But he gets a crit on the Ice Punch, which is really unfortunate. Had I gone for a Roost there, we would have been a in a good position. But now, uh, my Drampa's basically dead, which really sucks. Because this thing's still putting in a lot of work against his team. But I should be fine. Like, uh, Tapu Lele, I think, can sweep late game. Especially now that he doesn't have his Hail anymore. Uh, I have Hidden Power Fire for the Sand Slash and Psychic for everything else. So it should be okay. And uh, he's going to bring out his Ninetales and just sack it. That's cool with me. <laughs> Guys, I swear I'm still high on the ladder. Don't worry. Uh, in comes Pelipper. Now, Pelipper can... I think it can knock me out with a with a Scald. But he's probably just going to go for Hurricane. So I'm actually going to go out into Titar here. Go out into Titar. As he does go for the Hurricane. Does he get the Confusion? No, he does not. Uh, and his Scald is not weakened, but it's not its its power is not increased right now. So I am just going to go for the Stone Edge. Uh, if he decides to sack off his Pelipper, that's awesome. Does he get the burn? He does get the burn. Uh, but I do think that this is going to do a lot with a crit. That's for sure. Uh, and I think I'm just going to switch hard into Porygon Z in case he has Roost. Because he will be able to Roost stall my Stone Edges. Let's see what he has. He does have Roost. Awesome. And uh, we have the plus one special attack. I'm just going to go for a T-Bolt right here. And uh, if he stays in with his Pelipper, then his Pelipper is dead. There we go. And uh, now we don't have to worry about that thing anymore, so that's nice. Um, Sand Slash is somewhat dealt with with Buzzwool. Sand Slash does come in now, though. That's kind of scary. He doesn't have the, uh, the hail up, so he's not speedy. Um, he will resist ev almost every one of my moves, though. That's, that's kind of annoying. Um... I'm going to sack off Drampa here, because it doesn't do anything else. As he's going to go for the Icicle Spear. That's that's my tech. Why are you using my tech, bro? <laughs> what? I'm going to go out into Tapu Lele now. We are Scarfed. We do have the Hidden Power Fire. It's quite effective. Uh, he might switch out. No, he stays in to take a Hidden Power Fire. Fantastic. And uh, now it should be pretty easy. I just go out into Titar and I sweep with, uh, with Stoutland at this point. He's going to go out into Gigalith. That's fine. I'm not going to go out into Titar directly first. I'm going to go out into Buzzwool. It's the better play. He might go for Heavy Slam. That's fine. He actually goes for Stone Edge. Uh, unfortunate that he misses, but I do just get to go for a Toxic here no matter what. We are physically defensive, so we can take his Stone Edge no, pro no problem. Uh, he does keep missing them, though, unfortunately. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Sub here. 
That way, if he continues to miss, then uh, I will still be behind a sub. He's going to go for a stone edge. He is going to fade our sub. Okay, so he does do over 25%. Is he banded? Is this thing banded? Um, <laughs> now I'm not sure anymore. I'm just going to go for another sub. It's fine. We are faster than this thing. He's going to go for another edge. And uh, like I said before, it's absolutely fine because this thing is almost dead. And after one thunder punch... Oh, wait, what? Oh, he's figgy berry. Oh, okay. Well, I think either way, it doesn't matter. I just go for T-Punch here. Uh, we get to get back up our Psychic Terrain, and he's going to be super low now thanks to the Toxic. Uh, he And his Sand isn't up, so I can just go for a Psychic here, easily knock this thing out. And as long as his Chinchino is not Scarfed, we're going to knock that thing out too. So uh, not too short, not too long of a battle, kind of kind of in between, which is nice. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Psychic. And in case he's Scarfed, I still have Stoutland in the back. We haven't get, gotten to see it yet, but I promise... It should come up next next game as long as we get a little bit of a better game than that. But uh, again, I'm going to pause it, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys. Um, sorry. Uh, I had to pause the recording because Jara was talking to me. You know when this was, dude. <laughs> now you remember. Um, and my opponent has a team that is extremely Drampa weak, actually, which is nice. Um, yeah, he just loses to Drampa, essentially, if I get up a couple of Calm Mines. Uh, but what I am going to do here is I'm just going to lead off with my Buzzwool. Hopefully he doesn't lead with Mag. He does lead with Gliscor. That's fantastic. However, I can't touch this thing <laughs> now that I don't have Ice Punch. So I think I'm actually going to have to switch out into... Ah, uh, that sucks. Um, Yeah, I'm going to have to switch out into PZ as much as I don't want to. I'm going to get the special attack raise. He is going to go for Toxic. That's what I expected, but I didn't act on it. Um, I really wanted to go for Sub first and then switch out into PZ, but it didn't happen that way, guys. <laughs> Uh, but I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam here. Let's see if he sees it coming. He probably will. I wouldn't be surprised. But can he really risk me Z converting up? I could literally sweep his entire team if he does that. So that's kind of uh, it's kind of scary for him. Um, <laughs> Jar's in. The, I'm actually going to bring this up on screen real quick so you guys can see. <laughs> Jar says hi, mom. So if Jar's mom is watching, if Jar's mom. Uh, enjoys my content then he said hi during this video so there you go and there we go <laughs> so let's see uh let me actually move this back out of the way because i like having this open but on the side and uh, you guys got to see all my chats there on the side uh everyone that i'm a part of uh <laughs> this one up here this one's the best one <laughs> this is our pricing for the gpc i'm doing pricing right now with the guys and uh that's riz that's uh, NPL miners, so you got you guys got a little uh, sneak peek into the uh, Into Aster's discord and what it looks like so there you go In comes Titar on my Porygon Z now. We did have signal beam on this before but we don't anymore unfortunately um, But I am just gonna go out into Titar on this my own Tyranitar as he does go for the stone edge That's gonna do a little bit of damage uh, that actually did more than I expected because we are quite defensive I'm just gonna go for rocks. So is he I think we're the same set uh, And I'm gonna go for a stone edge here. I think he's a little bit faster than me though. Yeah, he definitely is uh, As this is going to do an even amount of damage roughly and um, I don't really want to switch out here on a stone edge. Hopefully he just misses But he doesn't he connects. What was it three four? Four stone edges? That's fine. I mean, I'm not complaining or anything. Um, do I go into Drampa? Hmm. Yeah, let's go into Drampa now. Because I eliminated uh, the effects of sand, essentially. And I'm going to go for a Roost. Because I know that he's faster than me. He goes for Ice Beam, so he gives me, he gives me the ber Berserk. And I know that he can't two-hit KO me with Ice Beam. Uh, am I taking sand damage still? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm going to go for a Calm Mind here. He goes for a Stone Edge. Uh, that's not going to do enough. We are going to get the Calm Mind off. And uh, we are going to get the... Uh, no, we're not. We don't get it from uh, Weather Effects. Okay, I'm going to go for Roost. Uh, he does not crit me, luckily. But he is going to give me the Berserk that turn. And uh, we are back up to a decent amount of health. He does need to continue connecting Stone Edges. So I'm just going to keep going for Roost. Uh, he's getting off 49% now, but his sand does end on this turn, meaning that we'll be a little bit healthier. We don't have to risk a roll. I'm um, playing around with um, with crits and stuff like that, but it's fine. In comes Magnazone, and I think I just sweep his team now because I'm going to go for the Calm Mind. He goes for Thunderbolt. That is resisted, of course. And uh, now we're just straight sweeping. <laughs> Everything's going to die. I'm going to go for another Roost on his next Thunderbolt, or if he switches out, either one is fine. And this thing just destroys lives. <laughs> In comes Salamence. Uh, we are physically defensive. 
Uh, so we should be able to take anything he throws out. I'm gonna go for the Hyper Voice. He is gonna go for the Outrage. Actually, we straight die to that. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting to go down to that, but I guess that's what happens when you underestimate Salamence. And uh, now I'm gonna go for Psychic because he's locked in, and we are gonna knock out the Salamence. Fantastic. Okay, so that thing's dealt with. Uh, in comes Titar, which is going to try to kill me with a dark move, I assume. Uh, I'm gonna go out into Buzzwool here, as he is going to... Uh, just go for the Stone Edge. That did nothing. What? Yo, Buzzwool bulkier than Titar? Well, obviously, if you look at their stats, but wow, I did not expect it to take it that well. Um, I'm just gonna go for a T-Punch, actually, uh, because I know he's gonna... No, he doesn't go for the Ice Beam. Okay. How many Stone Edges does he have left? Zero? Okay, well, I'm going to Thunder Punch again. Do we get a Para? No, he goes for the Ice Beam. Like, that would have knocked me out, you see? Which is what, why I didn't understand him going for another edge. But uh, it's okay. Now, if that's his only move, if uh, Ice Beam is his only move to hit me with, then how many sand turns does he have? He has a lot, right? So let's take his advantage of his own sand turns and go out into Stoutland. Uh, and then just start hitting things with Return, I think. Uh, and if he loses his sand, then his uh, Excadrill loses its speed, which means it will lose to my Porygon Z if I get to set it up later. Which I should be able to, in theory. Because I think that was Specs Magnazone. Don't quote me on that, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was Specs. Uh, it all depends on how much his Titar is actually at. Because we see 13 up here, but it doesn't really mean it's 13. It could be 12.2, 12.3. Uh, it could be 12.6, so that would mean that he would live the Stealth Rocks. Uh, it really depends. But I'm going to go for a return. We are going to knock out his Titar. That is fantastic. Uh, however, a lot of turns of sand are still up. So what I'm going to need to do here, guys, is I'm actually going to need to sack off my Tapu Lele. Because he's Balloon, which means uh, because he doesn't have a Life Orb, uh, he essentially, he doesn't have uh, as powerful an Earthquake as he should. And I put him at minus one. So I should be able to take his Quake. And I'm going to go for a Super Power, as the Quake does not kill me. Super Power does knock out the Excadrill with a crit, though. Uh, but now he can freely go out into his pincer, which is the trouble here. Um, however, his pincer cannot hit me with priority right now. And I think he might forget about that. So let's go out into PZ. Let's see if he goes for a swords dance. Let's see what he does. He's going to go for a quick attack and not hit me. <laughs> and that's what you get. Um, and I'm faster than this, so I'm going to go for the Psy Shock. Uh, well, actually, he mega evolves and now he's faster. Uh, and Psychic Terrain is still up for one more turn. Let's see if he makes the misplay of staying in. I'm gonna go for Fire Fang. Uh, he does make the misplay of staying in. Fire Fang is not gonna kill Pinsir, however, unfortunately. And, uh, we are gonna go down to that. I was hoping it would kill and then we would knock out the Magnezone, but even then I don't think Magnezone would have gone down to that. So that is gonna be a loss, unfortunately. Uh, probably from me not focusing as much. Uh, I realized that Salamence could take me out and I probably should have switched directly into Tapu Lele. Um, I was like, Outrage is gonna kill me. What am I talking about? I was thinking Dragon Claw, but anyway. It's fine, we'll move on to the next game. And once again, guys, we will have to pause it. We'll be right back. Wow, I'm, I'm glad I was paused because I just let out the most violent sneezes the world has ever seen. Uh, are we serious? <laughs> really, dude? I just got back. All right, we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, we got a real one. And... Um, why does this guy's team look like a team that was built at the beginning of Sun and Moon? <laughs> like, literally, that's what it looks like. Uh, whereas mine's a little more in intricate. Um, again, another game where Drampa can just absolutely destroy my opponent. Um, except for Clefable, because it is unaware. Uh, we know that because it has every ability, of course. But I am just going to lead off with Titar here. I think that it's the most... Um, well, the most solid lead. He's going to lead off with his Nihilego. I'm actually just going to go for a Stone Edge turn one. He's going to get up his rocks. We're going to bring this thing pretty down low. Uh, and then we're going to go for a Stealth Rock as he goes for a Thunder Wave. Uh, and our rocks are now up as well, which is awesome. That's going to be great for the Marowak and for the Gyarados. I am just going for a Crunch right here as he goes for Power Gem. Crunch should kill, but unfortunately we do get paralyzed. Uh, I'm just going to Crunch again, of course. There's another Power Gem and we get paralyzed again. And I'm going to go for Crunch and... Uh, we don't get paralyzed. Wow, okay. What? That was surprising. Uh, in comes Marowak, probably to go for an Earthquake uh, or something along those lines. I am going to have to switch out here because I do not want to stay in. 
Um, hmm. What do I go out into, though? This thing's gonna hit me super hard. I guess Buzzwall. And what I'll do is, from Buzzwall, I'll go into Drampa. He's gonna go for Bonerang, that's gonna do absolutely nothing. And I don't even think Flare Blitz is gonna do that much, I'm just gonna Toxic. You know what? Uh, he's gonna go for the Flare Blitz. It's actually gonna straight knock me out. Okay. So I underestimated that. We're gonna go out into Drampa now, and we are going to go for the Calm Mind. Uh, actually, we're gonna go for Roost, see what he wants to do. Uh, no, he can't hit me, I'm going for Calm Mind. What is he doing? He's going for Flare Blitz, that's resisted. Uh, I get burned in the process, but I do get my uh, increase in special attack. The burn kind of sucks, uh, but it's okay. We're going to go for a Roost here, as he is going to continue to go for Flare Blitz. Of course, it is Rockhead as well as Lightning Rod, so he's not taking any residual. I'm going to go for another Roost. I just need to get this thing in range of Flamethrower, essentially. He's going to go for Boomerang and Miss, so that makes up for, uh, for all the Paras, I guess. Uh, and now we are going to go for the Flamethrower. It should easily kill from here. No problem. And uh, let's see if he realizes that Clefable is the only answer to this right now. <laughs> we will see. No, he goes into Como instead. Uh, which can obviously go for an Outrage. But this one's Outrage I don't think will take me out. Or Clanging Scales for that matter. I'm going to go for Hyper Voice. He's going to go for Dragon Claw. As you can see, it does not knock us out. Uh, we will go for Hyper Voice. And okay, Soundproof. Right. Forgot about that. <laughs> that ability. Um... Well, I have no need to keep this anymore. I'm going to go for Flamethrower. He's actually going to go for Dragon Dance. Uh, that should be fine because Flamethrower is going to do a lot. And uh, even if he Dragon Dances again, I still have uh, the Stoutland, uh, the Tyranitar and Stoutland combination. Uh, not to mention, I also have Tapu Lele, which is uh, Choice Scarfed. And can very easily go for a Psychic right here and just knock out Como. Uh, now, he could be Mega Gyarados, which is exactly what I think he is. So I'm actually going to switch out into my T-Tar here, not wanting to keep in my Tapu Lele as he Mega Evolves, which he does, as you can see. And uh, he's just going to go for a Dragon Dance. He's not going to risk me, I don't think. Uh, okay, well, he is going to risk me going for a Stone Edge. Uh, and this is going to do a lot of damage. Uh, and I am just going to Stone Edge again. He's going to go for a Waterfall. Uh, he is not faster than Stoutland, I don't believe. Well, he could be. Yeah, he definitely could be. Uh, that's a little bit annoying. Um, is he faster than Scarf Top Lele? Probably. Uh, let's go out into Stoutland. We do get the Intimidate. And um, I think I have to switch into PZ. And then switch back into Stoutland. Yeah, that's what I have to do. I have to lower this thing's attack a little bit more. As he's probably just going to attack right here. He does go for the Waterfall. That's going to crit. That didn't matter at all. And we are going to go back into Stoutland now. We should be able to take any hit this this thing wants to go for. And just go for a return. As long as he doesn't flinch me. Uh, which he doesn't. Which is awesome. We are going to kill that. And uh, PZ comes in. Doesn't want to kill me right away. Let's find out. We're going to go for the return. Nope. He decides to Z convert. And this is going to hurt. Like crazy. Uh, and he's going to turn himself into an electric type. But it doesn't matter because Tapu Lele still outspeeds him. So he's going to go for uh, Thunderbolt right there. We are going to go out to Tapu Lele. Now let's see how much damage we can do to the Clefable, uh, which of course doesn't take damage from rocks either. As we get a crit, we do 91%. He's going to go for Calm Mind, and we are going to knock out the Clefable on the following turn. So a little bit of luck in our favor. Uh, no flinch, stuff like that. Uh, I messed up with the Soundproof, so that was kind of annoying. But we are going to get one more, and uh, we'll call it a day after that one. And once again, guys, we will be back for the last time. Alright guys, last game, and uh, once again we have a Porygon Z, a Clefable, Gyarados, so kind of the same core as before, uh, except this guy's got a little bit of a better team to back it up, in my opinion. Um, but I am just going to lead off here with... I think... I really wish I had Moonblast on top of Lele because I would be able to knock out the uh, the Banda Buzz, but I do not. So what I'll do is I'll lead off with Buzzwell, because it has a pretty good lead matchup, as he's going to lead off with Clefable, so the worst lead matchup possible. Of course. Uh, we are going to go straight out into T-Tar here. I know that Moonblast is super effective. You don't have to tell me. I'm aware of that. But I just wanted to get up my sand. So that I can... Uh, that looks like Life Orb, by the way. Because we have a lot of Spadef. So I'm pretty sure that's Life Orb. Um, so I'm going to switch out into Stoutland. And if he's not defensive, then... Uh, okay, he crits me, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to go for a return. It's going to do a lot to whatever. It doesn't matter what it is that comes in. Mana Buzz is going to come in. This is going to do a lot. 60%. He's not Rocky Helmet. He is big pecs and weak armor, though. Um, and he's going to gain a speed boost, but I don't think he's faster than me. He shouldn't be max speed. He goes out into Hippo. This is going to take a lot of damage, too. Uh, as we get a crit and do 65%, he is Rocky Helmet. Uh, and this is actually going to 
help me because now I can go into Porygon Z and set up. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go into PZ and I'm gonna go for a Z conversion. Uh, actually, should I just go for an Ice Beam? Do I really have any reason to Z convert right now? I don't think I do. Yeah, we'll go for Ice Beam. We'll knock out the Hippo uh, rather than Z converting. I think that's the better play. And our sign goes down too, so he doesn't know what I am. He doesn't know if I'm choiced. I didn't go for Z conversion, so I could very well be choiced. Uh, if he goes out into Gyarados, I'm immediately clicking uh, Thunderbolt. He actually goes out in Breloom. Uh, and we will get on out of here because this thing is about to mock punch me into the next dimension, isn't it? Uh, let's go out to Tapu Lele. As he is going to go for the mock punch. He's not going to want to stay in here. I'm expecting the Mandibuzz to come in. So I'm going to now go into... Titar as let's see what he does he does go for the bullet seed actually surprisingly enough okay um I could have gone into Buzzwell I could have gone into Tapu Lele like I, there's certain plays I don't understand like that I'm now gonna go out into PZ I still get the special attack raise and he's not gonna see this coming uh my psychic terrain is up he's gonna try to mock punch me yep there we go and that thing's gone so beautiful uh, he still doesn't know what I am, and uh, yeah, we are looking pretty good to win this game. I can still Z convert alongside his PZ. We should be slower though, that's the one thing I'm worried about, is if we're slower. But if he's timid, he probably doesn't knock me out anyway. In comes his Porygons, he get it. it gets a raise in attack, so I'm gonna go for Z conversion. We're actually faster than his PZ, which is awesome. As uh, now I'm plus two special attack, adaptability, psychic, psy shock. Uh, this is going to. Oh no, he's dark. Oh no. <laughs> that just ruined everything. Uh, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt. It's going to do a lot of damage, but he has Dark Pulse and that's easily going to knock me out. Damn, that sucks. Um, why did you have to be dark of all things? All right, well, I think Tapu Lele's Thunderbolt can probably knock it out. Um, because that one did 59. Uh, no. Mine did how much? Yeah, 59%. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Actually, I don't think Tapu Lele can knock it out. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, I think I just straight lose to this. That's plus one Dark Pulse. Actually, Drompa might be able to take one. Let's try. Let's try to make it happen. Let's go for Hyper Voice. He's gonna go for Recover, actually. Okay. Uh, this is still going to do a lot, and I'm going to go for another Hyper Voice, as he's going to go for another Recover. I could have gone for Calm Mind there, but okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Hyper Voice. I need to get him in range. Oh my god, I lived on one. Uh, and we are going to get off the Hyper Voice. Beautiful. He is now in range of Tapu Lele's attack, which is fantastic. Let's go for another Voice. Uh, as he does go for another Pulse, he's not risking anything anymore. And we'll go out into Tapu Lele. And now I'm firing off Thunderbolts. Uh, that's going to kill PZ easily. And uh, now I have to deal with this Clefable, though. That's the only problem. And I'm not Specs, which means I have to switch out. Um, that's annoying. I need to lock myself into Thunderbolt, but later. Let's go into Buzzwool first. I don't think I can take this. He's gonna go... What? He went for Soft Boiled. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for T-Punch. As he actually switches out into Mandibuzz. Awesome. Okay, so that's gonna take a good amount of damage. And I'm going to now go for a Toxic as he goes for Roost. Uh, and now we're looking good, actually. I'm gonna go for Sub. Let's see what he does. He goes for Nasty Plot, that's fine. I don't care about that. I'm just gonna Sub up. And uh, we are going to go for another Substitute on his Air Slash. I'm gonna let him get worn down to Toxic. And I'm going to now go for a... Thunder Punch should kill from here, right? How much did it do before? 37? Uh, yeah, with the Toxic, it should kill. I'm gonna go for another T-Punch. I'm going to leave myself a little bit healthier, as uh, he will go down to Toxic here. And we're looking okay. I think we're, we're doing fine. Uh, as long as I get off the necessary damage on Clefable, I should be good. Uh, also, I don't know if his Gyarados is Mega or not. and I, I have a pretty good hunch that it is. Uh, let's see how much this Thunder Punch does. It doesn't do too much. Uh, and Moonblast is going to knock us out. Now it all comes down to how much does Thunderbolt do to Clefable. And can I get a para? It's crit. It crits. Uh, he goes for soft boiled. I'm gonna keep going for thunderbolt. Uh, if we can get a para at any given moment, that would heavily increase our chances of winning this game. There it is. Uh, Z's gonna go for a calm mind. If I can uh, crit him through the calm mind, uh, then I should be fine. It's all. It all depends on how many paras he's gonna get. Uh, so far, he hasn't gotten a single one. 
as uh, there's the moon blast and that is going to knock us straight out so that's going to be game unfortunately uh didn't play super correctly uh, around his Porygon Z because it ended up being dark and I really wasn't expecting that it was like the perfect counter to my PZ uh, If it was anything other than dark, then I would have been able to knock it out um, Probably because Psyshock would have been able to hit anything else uh, and that's kind of the reason I wanted to run signal beam before but um, <laughs> There weren't really any dark types running around other than like Mandibuzz which I could hit with Thunderbolt and Gyarados as you saw uh, which also I can also hit with Thunderbolt so uh, unfortunately, the team doesn't work out as well as I wanted to during the live. I was doing fine with it before, but I guess people either saw it or um, have learned to play this tier a little bit better, I guess. That's good on uh, good on everybody, honestly. Um, I'm happy with that. And uh, if you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.